Example 24. Solve the following system of equations using the Gauss-Jordan elimination method. x minus 3y plus z equals to negative 12 x plus y plus z equals to 0, 2x minus y plus z equals to negative 8. Before going any further, we are going to let the matrix containing the coefficients of x, y, and z of the three equations be A. We shall let the matrix containing the values on the right-hand side of the three equations given be B. In order to solve the system of equations given using the Gauss-Jordan elimination method, we first need to form the augmented matrix whose first three columns contain elements of A and whose last column is made up of B. The elementary row operations used here aims to reduce the augmented matrix formed to a reduced augmented matrix. In other words, we are going to go from A, B to I, which is the identity matrix in the first three columns, and X, which is the matrix containing X, Y, and Z in the last column. So A, B to I, X. Let us now refer to the respective columns going from column 1, column 2, and column 3 when creating equations for the new rows. Remember to leave the procedure involving matrix diagonals for the end. So here are a few things to take note of. The letter C is used to denote the element we are changing, whereas the letter D is used to denote the diagonal element. R1 represents row 1, R2 represents row 2, and R3 represents row 3. New row 1, new row 2, and new row 3 are written as R1, R2, and R3 with an asterisk symbol. Let's begin with our first step. For this, we refer to column 1 of the matrix. We leave the diagonal elements of matrix A as they are. With reference to column 1, Row 2 and row 3 contain the elements that will be changed. Now, referring to row 2, the element in row 2 that will be changed is 1, whereas the diagonal element present in this column is 1, which exists in row 1. Then, we find the equation for new row 2 by using the 2 by 2 matrix determinant formula AD minus BC. From that, new row 2 is equal to R2 minus R1. The same procedure is repeated for row 3, starting with the establishment of the element that will be changed and the diagonal element, up to obtaining the equation to get the new row 3. With that, new row 3 is equal to R3 minus 2R1. Row 1 remains unchanged in this step. Therefore, we just rewrite all the elements from row 1 as they are. Bear in mind that, at this point, all the elements in column 1 besides the diagonal element have been changed to 0. Moving on to our second step, we now refer to column 2 of the matrix. With reference to column 2, Row 1 and row 3 contain the elements that will be changed. Now referring to row 1, the element in row 1 that will be changed is negative 3, whereas the diagonal element present in this column is 4, which exists in row 2. Then, we find the equation for new row 1 by using the 2 by 2 matrix determinant formula AD minus BC. From that, New row 1 is equal to 4R1 plus 3R2. The same procedure is repeated for row 3, starting with the establishment of the element that will be changed and the diagonal element, up to obtaining the equation to get the new row 3. With that, we get new row 3 is equal to 4R3 minus 5R2. 
row 2 remains unchanged in this step. Therefore, we just rewrite all the elements from row 2 as they are. Bear in mind that, at this point, all the elements in row 2 besides the diagonal element have been changed to 0. Let's proceed to the third step, which we are going to do by referring to column 3 of the matrix. With reference to column 3, row 1 and row 2 contain the elements that will be changed. Now, referring to row 1, the element in row 1 that will be changed is 4, whereas the diagonal element present in this column is negative 4, which exists in row 3. Then, we find the equation for new row 1 by using the 2 by 2 matrix determinant formula AD minus BC. From that, new row 1 is equal to negative 4R1 minus 4R3. The same procedure is repeated for row 2, starting with the establishment of the element that will be changed and the diagonal element, up to obtaining the equation to get the new row 2. With that, new row 2 is equal to negative 4R2 minus 0. For the fourth and final step of this technique we are using to execute ERO, we refer to the matrix diagonal. With reference to the matrix diagonal of the matrix on the left-hand side of the augmented system, we divide each row by the diagonal element to create an identity matrix on the left. So, row 1 is divided by negative 16, row 2 is divided by negative 16, and row 3 is divided by negative 4. With that, the matrix obtained on the right-hand side of the augmented system is our x, y, and z. Therefore, x is equal to negative 2, y is equal to 3, and z is equal to negative 1.